Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for checking out this video. My name is Rachel from teachingwithrachel.com and today I want to talk a little bit about what might be holding you back from starting without school. And I know that sounds like a sales pitch and that's not really my intent at all, but I've talked to two people just this morning who both one who has not yet applied for our school because she has some things holding her back and another person who is ready to go to teach on out school and is not quite sure how to begin the actual teaching part and getting classes listed. So today I just want to talk a little bit. So sorry, my cat decided to join us. I want to talk a little bit about maybe just encouraging you to jump in. Now, one thing that I am hearing from several people is the lack of time is something that is holding people back from getting started, uh, getting started planning classes, scheduling classes. Many people have their children home who are doing virtual learning and there's really no time in their day for the grown up to teach. And if that is it, then my best advice is this is a sliver of time in our world with this whole COVID pandemic. If that is your situation, you may just have to wait. I tell my own daughter all the time, it's a sliver of time. Let's just get through this. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There really is. If that's what's holding you back, you might not be able to change that. And some of you may have other things that are holding you back from jumping in that you just can't change now okay then just sit with it for a while i know that's easier said than done if you are looking to make money in this tough time so i don't say that with any disrespect or anything some things we just can't change and except that acknowledgement of i want to jump in and start teaching but i can't because i can't change my current situation it happens do the best you can to wait until it works out for you the second thing I'm seeing that's holding people back from diving right in is not knowing what to teach. Now, here's my opinion. Everything that I saw online about out school was teach your passion, which is super awesome for those of you who have a passion, who really like juggling or who really like yoga and you have a passion for it and you live for it. But there's gotta be people like me who you know, I'm a single mom. I work hard. I do chores. I do laundry. I make meals. I help my daughter. And then I wake up and I do the same thing the next day. I don't feel like I have a passion in my life to share. Now, there might be, and I'm just acknowledging it, but I want to reach out to anyone else who is also feeling that I don't really have a passion. I'm just living my life here. There's nothing that I am really drawn to. That's okay. Let me be the first person to say this. If no one else says this, it's okay not to have a passion. But what could you teach? What could you teach enthusiastically and bring learners into learning? Do you enjoy reading? Could you have a book club and read with kids? Do you enjoy whatever you enjoy? Just, I, I just want us to get past the whole, teach your passion, because a lot of us don't have, and I don't want to say the luxury of having a passion, but some of us are just getting by every day, every month, every year, and we really haven't found that passion in our lives that we want to then bring to out school. It's okay. Um, some of us are doing okay on out school, even without that one passionate thing that we definitely want to teach. I love to teach. And I guess a case could be made. That could be my passion, but I can find the enthusiasm of teaching as good enough for me. I teach many different things that works for me. So if, if you are not jumping in because you do not feel like you have that one thing you, that is just your passion, let me tell you, it's fine. <laughs> Make some classes. Your first classes may end up being your very best classes, your most successful, or they could be total duds. That's the truth. They could be anywhere in between for that matter. Jump in and try. 
what's the harm? If you're doing something with your best intent and you're giving the students in each and every class your best, if a class is a dud, it's a dud. If no one ever signs up for it, okay, create something else. But don't let that find your passion, teach your passion, stop you. And third, I want to get a little vulnerable here. I have heard from a couple people saying, well, I'm getting my hair done in three weeks and so I want to look really nice. I want to do that before I do my video. Or um, someone else said, well, you know, I, I'm going to go get some new clothes. I'm Okay, let me be the first to tell you this. Kids don't care what you look like. They don't. They would rather have an excited teacher who cares about them, who wants to teach them and have a really fun class. A few months ago, I had something on my bucket list I wanted to do, which was to chop my hair off. Um, this is not a political statement. This is not um, as a result of cancer or anything. I just wanted to chop my hair off and I'm old and I decided to go ahead and do that at some point in my life. Long story short, I did it. And I was so worried, so worried that I would lose students or that the students would freak out and think I was weird. And for about three weeks after I did that in every class, I wore a head wrap or a, a very thick headband to cover it. And I just decided one day, I'm kind of tired of doing that. It was more work than I really wanted to do. And so I just did it just came to class as me and it was a class that I had taught some of the kids before and nobody cares we put so much on ourselves of oh, will they choose me will they like me you know what we can't choose what other people do could there have been people who did not want to sign up for my class because I look like this now maybe but I'm doing okay and I've learned kids really don't care I am in a home that I freeze. I am just that kind of that person. I'm that person who, you know, seven months out of the year freezes. I wear hoodies when I teach almost all the time. I also have a couple of tattoos on my arms and I feel like it covers them up. So it's kind of a respect thing as well as I'm freezing. So I don't, I don't come to class sloppy. But I certainly don't get dolled up um, for that. So please, if you are feeling any insecurities as far as, oh, well, look at all these people and I'm, I don't look like this person. I don't look like that person. In the end, kids don't care. And I've never had a parent care either. Now, I wish I would have been a little bit more secure about that when I first chopped my hair off and then I just wouldn't have had those the expense of all the head wraps and three weeks of wearing them again no disrespect for anyone who who chooses to wear or who wears a head wrap for any other purpose such as religious purposes no disrespect about that but for me I was doing it because I felt like I had to hide things so that people would like me and I'm hearing other people use that kind of insecurity as a stumbling block to jumping on out school. And here I am, old lady, chubby, not beautiful, no hair, and yet I'm still having learners. So please, if you start feeling bad about yourself or you're feeling insecure, use me as an example in your own mind and just jump in. Kids don't care. If your hair is done, they don't care if you have fancy clothes. Um, they don't really care if you have this wonderful background. I love our new background, by the way. So do the kids. Be yourself. Who you are and what you project into your classes, those are the things that matter. Those are the things that are going to get a kid to turn to their parents and say, that was so much fun. I need to sign up for more classes with that teacher. Please, if you have things that are stumbling blocks for you that are preventing you from applying to out school, or if you're in and you just haven't scheduled those classes yet because there's something holding you back, please reach out. I'm happy to help you through it. Again, 
If using me as an example helps you jump over that stumbling block, do it. <laughs> I will also help you though. If there, is, if there is some help you need with planning a lesson or having someone look it over before you submit it, I am very happy to help with that. And I just want you to be successful. I don't want anything stopping people from doing something that I personally love. And if you would end up loving it too, I'd hate for you to have prevented this positive thing to happen in your life. All right, that's enough rambling on my end. Please comment below. Did you have to overcome something before you started without school? What was it? How did you overcome it? Have you helped someone else overcome it? Um, again, if you want to reach out to me privately, I'm happy to help you through it. All right, go do it. All right, thanks so much. Bye.